have you ever had a horse who's jigging back to the barn who you know they're just so barn sour they just bolt back to the barn you know or you know you're trying to get them to go away from the barn and they just won't leave the property it's it can be really frustrating um, today I'm gonna show you and share some tips with you on how to fix a barn sour horse hey what's up I'm Atiyah Babcock and I'm a rider biomechanic coach and I've been doing natural horsemanship since I was 13 I don't know it all but I love sharing with others um, what's worked for me and my horses I'm gonna share with you um, the principle of sweet spots so your horse really isn't barn sour they're barn sweet think about it you let your horse rest at the barn you let them eat at the barn you know that's their safe place that's their happy spot and that's their sweet spot and so why would they want to leave why besides you telling them but that's not enough so apparently otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video and so how can you make the sweet spot the trail or the sweet spot the mounting block maybe your horse is really um, won't stand still to mount that's the same principle of sweet spots so what I like to do if my horse um, is uh, always barn sweet is if they won't leave property I'll work them really hard um, at home so I'll play on the ground I'll ride we'll do lots of cantering and then we'll go out on a trail and walk and make it more uh, fun and more like a resting spot so they think oh this is so fun to be out on a trail I get to eat grass I get to walk along you know have fun and uh, that's one thing that really helped my horse pal because she would not go out on a trail ride she would get nervous she would get scared and you know and I'd try and ask her to go forward I'd back her do approach and retreat from her um, threshold and just nothing worked until I did this this helps so much and then also making sure when you ride out that um, away from the barn that when you come back you don't trot back to the barn that's a really bad habit to get into so you know that's another little thing to think about so make sure you're walking back to the barn and um, also this principle applies to so many different things I the power of sweet spots is amazing it's just like I talked about your horse not standing still for mounting what do we do we get on and we go we go off and ride because we have stuff to do and we have a timeline you know and what we really need to do is make the mounting block or wherever we get on the horse a sweet spot so you know let them rest there you know maybe get on and then rest some more and just let your horse stand there and if they won't stand there um, uh, just do some circles and some sideways and some figure eights away from the pedestal and then have them rest or not the pedestal excuse me the mounting block and have them rest at the mounting block so they see the mounting block is a sweet spot a place where there's rest um, another principle of uh, sweet spots is if you're doing canter lay yields um, or just teaching your horse to go sideways faster and the principle of target training I don't know if you've heard of that it's basically um, getting your horse hooked on a barrel and it's really um, and it's getting them to choose to stop at the barrel or to rest at the barrel every time they get there and you know you have your resting spot by the barrel so you might do come down the arena do canter leg guilds canter leg guilds or maybe walk leg guilds walk leg guilds and rest at the barrel so that they see that there's a purpose in going sideways or doing that leg guild 
So this principle of sweet spots can be applied in so many different areas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, hope this helps. Uh, press like and subscribe.